we're getting close, but the weather is It's mid-September, and king of the Klondike, Tony Beats, is on track to sail past his 5,000-ounce goal. The rate we're going, we can hit it. Ugh, how the weather would smarten up, eh? Only 900 ounces short, Tony's all in on the 80 pup cut, which last week delivered over 500 ounces of white channel gold. I mean, we got some great gold waste coming out of 80 pup these days. That is nothing but great pay in there, piles of it. And I would really like to see that continue. But with all this rain in the water in that pond, there'll be a bit of dike work. We had some issues with them already this year, that we had to build them up and fix them. 12 weeks ago, Tony started sluicing 24 hours a day, doubling the water flowing from the trommel into the settling ponds below. Tony, Tony, do you copy? We've got multiple breaks in a dike. They have to build these dikes up, and we'll end up with a pretty decent road. Forcing Tony to shut down to build up and strengthen the dikes. That looks good, that looks good. Now, with water levels rising again, Tony is going on the offensive. You don't want to with your pond, so better make sure everything is in A1 shape. Nick D. Gabby, Nick D. Gabby. Yeah. Yeah, take that 220 to the dikes, right by the pump area there, because all this water coming down these days, sure as we're gonna have to do something down there. Yeah. Weather is it has been raining a lot, so uh, water is gonna keep coming in. So uh, I do gotta hurry up so this uh, dike doesn't break. Very wet already. Hope I won't sink here. So oh, I'm really going down here. This is not good. This is bad. We have to get that thing out of there because while it is nicely sitting there stuck, we're not sluicing, so Tony's not making any money. Tony Beats has shut down his entire mining operation after cousin Mike sunk an excavator into a settling pond. Well, this morning, the plan was to get his excavator out with two other excavators, and uh, yeah, that didn't work. So now we brought in uh, some bigger equipment. To drag it out, Tony's bringing in reinforcements. The 18-ton D6 dozer and the colossal 115-ton D11. OK, Mike. Yeah. What I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to bail this water out. Yeah. Then what you should do is take that other hole, start bailing coarse tailings. OK, yeah. I do think we're gonna bring in the six to put some gravel in the hole, and then we'll just build a ramp in there. And then the D11, you had a 100 foot cable on it, and then we should be able to pull it out. Tony's plan? Use the 349 excavator to bail out the sediment surrounding the stuck 220. Next, use the D6 dozer to push coarse tailings into the pit and create a solid ramp then drive the D11 onto the reinforced ramp so that the 850 horsepower monster can pull the 220 free. In order to get the excavator out, I'm gonna bail the water out. But as you see how wet it is in there, it's a swamp, it's a settling pond. But we are making a little bit of progress here, I think. It's starting to look better already. 
at the same time. Might go back fill it a little bit with tailings so we get a bit of a ramp going. Then I'll move the dozer in place. Might as well get the power. We have it, let's use it. have little dimples. <laughs> See, Mom has breakfast for you. <laughs> Heavy rain has slowed production on Paradise Hill all week, but Tony Beats is hoping the 80 pup continues to deliver big gold, helping him smash his 5,000 ounce gold. No, it's doing excellent. We lost a couple hours when Mike having the excavator stuck because the guy doesn't listen to your directions, drives right across the Settling pond, guess what? Sings at 220. I heard that. Did you give directions in English, Dutch, or Frisian? I forget. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no damage done. Took us what? Two, three hours to get it out? Yeah. Something like that? It came out a lot easier than I thought it would. That was my engineering, by the way. Of course, you're going to get good at engineering getting them out when you keep getting them in there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nice, Mike. Nice. I'll <laughs> remember that too. <laughs> Practice makes perfect, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, weigh it up, Mike. Ready? Pull it. Okay, let's go. 10, 15, 20, 30, 40. To keep the family on track. 80, 90. Tony needs over 300 ounces. 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 290, 300. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. 350, 360, 470, 480, 490, 499.84. Worth $850,000, bringing their total to 4,601 ounces. That's looking pretty good for six days. Absolutely. That 80 pub does very well. Actually, that has been doing really well. Yes, sir, that does exactly. Need a bigger tray next time because this one barely fit at all. We have a day more sluicing, but the, it's still good gold. Well, it looks like it's paying good, so that's the best part. I mean, it, uh, we're getting close, but the weather is the <laughs> so we're not quite there yet. Anyway, so far so good. I'm pretty happy with it. Right? Me too. When you do a million bucks in a week, what the is the matter with that? <laughs> have to. Dude. I'm Parker Schnabel, and you're watching Discovery Australia. Hit subscribe now to not miss out on any Gold Rush content.